Hello there, my name is Paul Spooner. I recently started a Patreon campaign and uh, one of my first goals was to reach three dollars and I didn't really I didn't really know if I was gonna reach it. I was like, well, do people actually enjoy the things I make? Do people actually enjoy uh, the creative stuff I do? I don't know. So I put the, the first goal as three dollars. I'm going to make a movie expressing my gratitude and uh, and try to cry a little bit if I can because at the time I was like I don't I don't really know if this is if this is even possible um, so and as it turns out the first my first patron is uh, is Ryan Summers and who better to make me cry than uh, than Ryan if you don't know him Ryan Summers is a, a very special man he did a lot of ministry at my church and he's a worship leader he's a teacher uh, he taught at the local high school, and we were in a group together. Um, he did a Bible study for a long time, and uh, I don't, I don't know truly how he felt about me, but his his feelings were were very welcoming toward everyone, and um, and I think that was just very that was very kind of him because he is a a very skilled person. Uh, he's extremely skilled in language. He's an English teacher. And he's uh, incredibly insightful and sincere. Uh, and he's also very shy. He's a, an introverted person. He doesn't like being around people. He doesn't like uh, interacting with people. And so to do this, to be a teacher on a weekly basis, to be a worship leader on a weekly basis, to be daily a teacher in his school was just an incredible sacrifice on his part. And, um, and I, I feel that to a certain degree. I'm an introvert as well. And, and his, um, his sacrifice for that was just we really appreciate it because he's so he loves the truth so much and uh and you so rarely find that in people um at least at least i've very rarely found it so i i really really appreciated him uh being a teacher there and uh so i think it's it's very fitting that he is uh my first patron i'm just going to read you to patronize uh, one of the definitions is to speak with kindness, which demonstrates a feeling of superiority on the part of the speaker. And generally, this is seen as a bad thing, right? It's like, oh, you don't be patronizing, don't patronize me. Um, but if it is true, then I don't think it's really that bad. And I think that this, uh, this feeling is not untrue in Ryan's case. He is a, in many ways a superior human being. And I think that in part that goes because he loves God so much. God is superior to us and his qualities overflow into the people who love him. So Ryan Summers, I believe that you love God and, uh, and thank you so very much for being my first patron. Um, I, I was going to try to summon up tears at this some point, but it feels insincere. I, uh, I know you've seen me cry before and, uh, and it was when I was worshiping with you. And so, thank you for that. And uh, I hope that you're enjoying your life in Colorado. I hope you're having a great time and, uh, and doing some great things and ministering to people there. And uh, thank you for keeping in touch and, and for being my first and best patron. God bless.